Hi guys, we're back. It's Chichis Primus, and this is the Heathen Horde Part 4 for reals this time. Uh, I don't know what exactly happened if you guys saw that um, corrupted save. I've managed to save scum a bit. We've lost a little bit of time here. As I recall, it's a couple of days. It's nothing substantial. Uh, this is because I left time tick uh, to test. Uh, but as you can see, we're no longer a pregnant man. Uh, <laughs> If you don't know what I'm talking about, all the better. Uh, I That was weird. Um, but we're back. Uh, Guthrid's fine. We are still the Butcher. We're not a pregnant Brahmin. Uh, it's still strategic. We're good. Everything's fine. We're, I'm not even going to uh, remember that anymore. I'm going to just let time take here a minute to uh, make sure this is all stable. Okay, cool. Rollo's doing his thing. Uh, for those of you not in the world, no, Rolo is in this mod. Uh, he comes in around 870 something, um, and he's going to mess up uh, Carlinge in France as much as possible uh, with quite a lot of men, and he's usually pretty successful. Uh, I've seen Rolo not succeed a couple times, but it takes the Empire to do some serious stuff to do that. And considering Morovia over here is still independent and they haven't conquered all of Italy yet, I'm not confident in the Carolingian's ability to actually uh, stop Rolo here. So let's see what happens. Oh, and I probably should make some of these duchies. Well, I can. Scania and Northumbria. I'm going to first make the duchy of Scania. Or Scania. However you wish to say it. Greater Skane, which we don't have Skane itself. That's under the Carolingians, which we're simply not getting back anytime soon. Um, that's just how that one goes. I'm going to give this to my Chancellor. To congratulate him on being good at his job. Alright, Snake of the Eye wants his title back too, I suppose. Do I have any of those? Lincoln, Durham, Westmoreland, Yorvik? No. Okay. Yeah, you can keep it. There we go. He's a Jarl again. That means, I suppose. Oh. Nah, he can stay at that. Okay. Let's just make time tick here. This is going to be a bit of uh, power consolidation and letting time tick. Uh, we're still waiting for threatening to disappear. Half ten got good. There we go. Formidable fighter, willful and rowdy. He's going to be a pretty good dude when he finally comes to age. Which is going to be good when that finally occurs. <clears throat> Sorry, give me a moment. My throat's all annoying. <clears throat> okay, so... Good look at how we're doing. We still have our pile of raiders. I'm going to get me off of that. So we have more kids. Uh, Slovy. Older. There we go. Get rid of the raiding. And we are king. Everything is fine. And I'm just going to let time tick here. This episode is probably going to be a little less intensive than I'd like it to be. Um, simply just because we need to consolidate here. Oh, no, 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 no. No priests. Again, much of the point of this run is to be pagan as long as possible and take Britain. We're doing a pretty good job at stealing other stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we've got most of Northern England here. The island, however, has kind of blocked us. But hey, we'll get there. Try to be more gregarious. The benefits just outweigh everything. And the uh, the king of the Isles has done amazing. Ivar has done work this round. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna go with one I can really trust.
And get my legalism up it helps a lot. Laws and that sort of thing. I'm gonna actually give myself some crown authority here. Uh, allows me to have more vassals, that sort of thing. Very useful. Let's not give him cruel. He's gotten good. <laughs> Hasten doing silly, silly things. Always fun to see. He has no heirs, though. That's not good. They both vanished, so that's suspect, considering he's a known devil worshiper. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. Okay, that's just hilarity in that one. Here we go. Money Bonnet. Okay. By a man eating tiger. See, <laughs> Hastings, what's wrong with you? Um, I'm debating whether or not to actually make the Arlo into Northumberland, uh, simply because I'd probably have to give it to this guy. And I don't really want to make him any more powerful than he already is, considering I own half of Northumberland. I'm using it as my power base to take Gorvik. Uh, they're still at 23% threatening, which is ridiculous. Okay. I don't know why I care about her. Whether she's in my court. Yep, there he is. Rollo is moderately victorious. I'm going to make him an important character because he usually gets up to some chicaneries just by nature being Rollo and where he's going after all. does prove that the Carlings can't be beaten. It might look like a giant murder blob, but they're really not. They're a bunch of murder blobs that murder each other most often. Um, but every once in a while they'll get their stuff together and really come after you. Which is why I'm trying not to deal with them. Like, I could go try and uh, take Skane back, but that's not. I'd have to fight 40,000 men. I only have 12. That's not good odds. Really not good odds. Waste of our time. That's going through my titles and things. Make sure everybody's being dealt with accordingly. Okay. I'm excited to play this half down. Come on, don't be slothful. Nope. Okay. Spy master, spy master. And he's done it. Job Hasting. Getting himself a piece of Cornwall. Neustria. Uh, for those of you not entirely in the know, uh, Rollo is the great great grandfather of William the Conqueror. Uh, he's the one who brings Normans to Normandy, as you can tell. He's the great great. He's a couple of generations removed. Marshall. I don't give it to the dude who's angry at me. There we go. That keeps him in line. 
And then pull up a better commander. Here we go. We're a little bit boxed in at the moment by all the other pagans uh, running rampant. Sure. I'll be a hunter. Why not? And I said that was a waste of money. They, yeah, did a defensive patch, right? Now it's just not good. I probably could take on the entire defensive pack at once, but it's not a good use of anything, really. Like, how much is it? It's. Two, three, four, five. I could probably take them. I don't want to, though. It would take a lot of manpower, and it would be a waste. Because there are 3,000 on the boat. There are four. There are two. There are two as well. That's 800. I could probably take them, is what I'm figuring. I just don't want to risk it. I can't remember this one if glowing blue is a good thing or not. Uh, it's been a little while. Uh, yes, yes, it is good. Okay, I was about to say. Really? I thought he was perfect for it. Um, memory, you know. I kind of got the shock of life when I figured this thing was not going to be a thing anymore. And I'm so very happy it's back. So yes, this will be episode number four. Uh, that previous upload never happened. Uh, we're moving on without that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I could take these defensive backs, uh, and I don't want to risk that at all. I mean, it would be awesome if we could pull it off. Yeah, totally. Um, the problem is I don't want to leave a crippled realm of Jorvik with a potentially dead king and a 12-year-old on the throne. Like, what could happen? Um, I, I just have these visions of uh, the realm falling apart and us having to go Christian. Um... See, she's pregnant. I'm not. Ha. Ha, 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 ha. But yeah, save corrupted. Uh, we're, we're, we're good now. I hope we're good now. Which is, this invalid checksum is telling me that I can corrupt. It's basically what it is. Uh, so, there will come a day when this will no longer work. It is known. There we go, Normandy. And he's in jail. By some sultan. Interesting. Apparently we went raiding. Down there for some reason. So where's the money at? Okay, it's not for some reason. It's because the money's down there. And over here. Well, you know, Baghdad. Uh... The mad dreams of Norsemen to raid Baghdad. I don't think we could. Yeah, no way. We'd have to march across all that and piss off tens of thousands of men. No, no way, no. We might be able to. No. <laughs> uh, if you get a weak enough Vesalius, there's times where you can seriously debate raiding Byzantium. Wolfar is apparently attractive. Not ugly. Attractive. Okay. Yeesh. 
Hasting children keep dying. <laughs> Jeez. Um, double worshippers for you. I have enough money. Some more piety would always be useful. I already hold center. You don't need to. He's for real. That's annoying. And my wife has died. Of camp fever. Goose feed for you. Three wives in not very many years. <laughs> they just don't last long. She's a bit young. Sorry. This is now reading... I need to find somebody good enough for a king. I do not know what my voice is doing right now. It's terrible. That's not that bad. I'll save that. Um, this sounds like a conspiracy. Oh, Grand Total would be amazing. But I'm gonna first, um, is anybody worth plotting? Not really. Uh, I'm gonna commission a runestone. Uh, it should speak of the dearly departed. You all have to be shit. Guford might be a butcher, but he's still. You know, values the memory of his father. Even though we've had a whack a few of our brothers. In memory of Half Dan. Hey, the series isn't dead. The first king was. We're fine. It's good to know. Okay, what to do about Ulfar? Well, what's he good at? Stewardship, but not really. Ew. Your focuses are all off of what you're actually supposed to be good at. Great. <laughs> well, he's my second son, so... These sorts of things happen. I'm gonna go for Diplomatic. Um, he's slightly better at it. Problem is, he's got the child mice to them both. You've been actually good at martial guys, could you not? <sighs> anyway, he'll be the diplomatic one. He'll be the fighting one. Even though this one seems to be also good at diplomacy. God damn it, kids. <laughs> Surprise me with a monument. I know he's probably going to pull the dickish thing where he makes a giant statue to himself, but, you know, he's after all my kin. I can't just kill them all. Sadly. I don't care about this child. Although she's shrewd, formidable fighter. Just make sure she gets a martial education. Because she sounds like a hilarious background character. And my nephew has died. And so I pick up Lancaster. Aha! This bit's all falling to shit. Interesting. Uh, you know what this means, it's time to play, uh, pick up the pie. Uh, let's just get to the bits we need, because this will probably call in. Don't worry, I mean, ladies. Ah, oh, there we go. 
about to say. I didn't think we did. It's my sons. Sorry, nephews. I'm going to go on a conquest in Nottingham, such so we can get this out of the hands of a Christian. Uh, the problem is this will call up a whole bunch of people to go deal with me, but the Astrias are not there. So, I don't really care. The stronger kingdom isn't here. Put my British men together. Take a look at how many guys we got over here. I might actually need them, but I'm going to call them now. Okay, here we go. Don't become frail, come on. <sighs> My shitty, shitty sons. Well, it looks like the grandsons of Lubbock aren't going to be as legendary. They never are. Here we go. Should be a quick little border war. Should be an R in this game, or never quite the same thing. Uh, as for my son, I want him to be ambitious. There we go. I don't know why he's sitting on Warwick, or how he got it, or any of those things. At all, actually. I, I had no idea. <laughs> Uh, snake in the eye, probably. Oh. That's what... Oh. Snake in the eye got the snot beat out of him. That's not good for us. <laughs> I'm sad that it took me that long to realize the Jylan just got eaten by the Carlingians. That's not good for our operations in Scandinavia. Um, like at all. But, uh, we should be able to beat stuffing out of these guys. Oh, please tell me I can kill somebody. Please. Yes! Good, we've killed him. Another dead Saxon dog. Yeah, my son has joined us for all that good that is. Seems to be some kind of an Anglo-Saxon revolt here, which I do not like at all. As someone who's trying to keep the Anglo-Saxons down. So much lovely dying sounds. Ah, we have up that dude to sacrifice. Glad to know that we're uh, being a good heathen. Massacring people. Oh, tell me. Oh, yes! Yes! Blood, 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 blood. Here we go. More dead bodies. The butcher continues. Oh, man. We're just slaughtering English gentlemen. Left, right, and center. This is good. This is what we needed. See, series comes back. It's just darts wrecking. There we go. Another guy up. And there we go. Let's get these good Norsemen. And I need a commander who's not bad. They're not terrible. Let's give them a lad. Take Nottingham. Enjoy. I can still create the Kingdom of Denmark. Oh, that would be fun. I might do that when I'm going for Emperor things. Okay, everyone down again. Let's see if I can't take these guys out. Uh, so when you're a heathen and you have a whole bunch of these single county duchies next to you, it's like popcorn, really. Um, first, I really want to uh, save my son from that war. Get my men up. Put them all in Yorvik. Okay, that should be more than enough to win this entire silly conflict. Get this 3,000, use them as a reserve, and send, well, not really reserve, I'm saying <laughs> straight to Devon. Uh, there we go. And 
replace him with, nope, not him, that one. There we go. Okay. They're messing with my son? I don't fucking think so. No! So, it's just on to some usual courts here. Oh no. Well, there goes Hastings. Oh well. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep going. Ha! Huh. The monument promised by Yarl Stringer is finished. Upon unveiling, a statue of m myself is revealed, and you notice the crowd smiling, giving you a round of applause. I have no words. Thank you, Uncle. You did a good job. And to think I was accusing him of being an asshole. Um. Blot him? <laughs> you should know this by now. Okay, it's just. Bull rush the end of this war. Um, don't, don't kill us, dude. Come on. Okay, good. We hold it together. We're a very, uh. Calm berserker. We, we tend to calm down after going berserk. It only lasts a couple of minutes. <laughs> okay. 11,000 men versus 600. Uh, I think I know who's going to win here. Uh, 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 take him prisoner at once. Okay, good. We have him. Yes, good. And march back to Yorvik. There's going to be a lot of this short war grinding stuff. Um, that being said, I think this is enough for this episode. And I'll see you all next time as we continue the just eternal grind through the middle of England. Because uh, we have all these tiny little duchies. And they're just asking for it. Thanks, guys. Uh, please like and or subscribe as you feel free to do. I will be releasing uh, Jorvik on a work teal basis now that it's returned from the brink. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one.